The helmet looks so sad. It's really weird. Oh, right, this gun. <laughs> okay. Where was I going for this? Over there. It's a ways away. Let's go give this ghoul his necklace. Way, I believe. Alright, he's in this uh, church lot area. Hello? Hello, friend. Yo, I got this necklace for you? Good. Give it here. Uh, I asked for God what it looked like. Strange. Looking at this, I feel something. I feel... Sadness. You remember your son? My son. You're mistaken. Followers of Ghoul Jesus have no children. We are immortal. Here, a reward for your efforts. May Ghoul Jesus bless you. Cool. That was that quest? Okay. So we need to go to this satellite station, which is down here. Which... I already explored, also explored some stuff down here, and uh, actually a lot of stuff just on the, the south area. I also, if you zoom out here, I got the uh, the Explorer uh, perk when I leveled up, and these are all the places we don't have, so there's a lot of stuff we've not yet explored. So, that's fun. All right. All right, where is the satellite? All right, there. perfect. I do not want this gun out, though. Let's get the... minigun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hello there. Bubba. Where's that guy? There he is. Connors. I forgot why I came here, to be honest. What was the uh, objective? It was just to defeat the mercs and repair the communication console. All right. All right, we want to take this place over so we have, like, uh, uh, a base. That's right. Okay. Did they have anything good on them? Wooden crate. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh. Tool cabinet. Just wonder glue. No thanks. What I want. Is that a foot locker? Nope. Okay. Is it this? Yeah. Um, attempt to improvise repair. Hey, -oh, perfect. Anything up the stairs though? Alright, that was that. Okay, just go in here and repair that, huh? Surely there's something else up here, right? No? Hmm. Oh, we're just in the dish now. Okay. Oh. General Oliver special, huh? Interesting. Neat guns are always interesting. General Oliver special. It's a... Oh, it's a silenced uh, 308 rifle with 50, 54 damage. What does my other 308 do? Eh, looks like it's, yeah, it's actually better than my Covert Sniper. Huh. But, the question is, how does it fire? <laughs> With Teddy Bear at the end of it. Bad guy. Okay. Well, it's definitely quicker. I'll keep it. Nice. Okay. Now, back. To Rocco Tower. We'll turn on our quests and hopefully not have to talk to uh, Charlene. I always forget her name. All right. I think I had one Esther? too many vodka tonics. Who are you? We can talk after it stops feeling like a nuke detonated in my skull. 
Ugh. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Clemson Molly. I don't remember there being someone named Esther here. She just wander in. Hey, Clemens. Good to see you again. You cleared out the satellite station. Excellent. I will deploy our garrison immediately to secure the station. With this equipment, we should be able to intercept NCR communications. Be sure to come back in a little while. I'm certain once we start getting NCR intel and finish analyzing the map, things will get busy around here. Excellent. I need to talk to Molly, who should be over here. Somewhere. I think she sleeps back here. Molly. Yep. Okay. You, Molly. That gun I got. Hey, newbie. Kinda what weird. can I do for you? Jericho worked amazingly. A bit heavy on ammo use, though, but it hits like the fist of an angry god. I'm not surprised. I make top notch gear. So, since you did most of the work, how about you keep the first Jericho? Which brings us to our next task. While you've been giving her a test run, I sent scouts to look for a source for more parts, and they got back to me about an old Corvega factory. Apparently, a group of wasteland assholes are using it as a home base. Thieves, rapists, and other shitbags hiding from the law. I don't care about them. No sweat off my ass if you waste the bastards. But what I'm interested in is the parts inventory. Find it, loot it, and bring the haul back here. Though, before you head out, we finally got that elevator in the lab working, and I'm right curious about what's down there. Care to come with me? Elevator in the lab. Sure. Awesome! Don't tell Charlene, but I was a bit scared to go down there alone. But man, holy shit am I excited! Head down and I'll meet you Oh, right. Before we go, since you've been such a help, I think you should have a place to crash around here. This key is to Forsyth's old office. Before you ask, we don't really like to talk about that asshole. Long story short, he got kicked off the round table, so his office is now yours. Enough about that piece of shit. Let's see what is in that vault, shall we? Okay. Well then, go to the lab's secret service elevator. Oh, I didn't even notice this was here. Well. looks just like a vault then again to a trained eye it's clearly a knockoff also the research area tag is a dead giveaway well fuck me the damn elevator circuit just tripped from that power surge shit okay breathe molly there's probably a reset terminal down here somewhere looks like heading into this rusted ass vault it is maybe it'll be worth our while Oh, we're going to see some spooky shit. All right, let's see what gun to use. How about we use the gold plate magnum? I've used that for a little bit. Uh oh, that's a couple of protectrons. Would you look at those bots? Never had anything like them in my vault. Though the more I look at them, the more I get this ominous feeling in my. Good. I remember seeing a diagram. There's some kind of security robot. Once we get back upstairs, I'll have a crew drag one upstairs and crack it open. Oh shit! Run! We need to find a way to shut it down! Shut what down? Attention, please. Attention, please. My fire testing is in progress. Please head to the nearest exit or to the observation room. My fire testing is in progress. Please head to the nearest exit. Okay then. Hmm. It's a little weird. Christine vending machine, huh? Hmm. Molly, why are you invisible?
No thanks. You just messed with the wrong red. in the uh, security room? No? Okay. Is that a dog? I see you there. There we go. Got him. Okay. So that door's open. This door's also open. Other doors are blocked, it looks like. It's a clinic, huh? doing here okay uh, let's go this way let's go with the uh, anti-armor boy here huh wait Oh, maybe that door's not blocked. Hold on. Maybe I can just jump. There we go. Okay. Just random papers, a couple of terminals, circuit breaker. Pretty sure if I flip that breaker, something's going to happen. Oh, this research terminal. Vault breaker trial one. Huh? The initial testing of the modified Rob Crow security model vaults infiltration sortie was a success, despite not, uh, what's, not without tragedy. Despite all precautions taking, two and a half minutes of horror followed. As predicted, 10 millimeter pistols, which Vault Tech has purchased in large quantities as a stable weapon for Vault security, have no discernible effect against the armor plating of the modified Rob Crow terminal or model, models. However, the R&D team was surprised to how Definitely, they could move in such a small space. Our mock security team was massacred before we could even get to the fail-safe override uh, operational. More importantly, we learned that Volt Tech's standard issue armor barely withstood the few shots from the onboard weaponry, and the highly trained commandos stood little chance of survival even in a squad of eight. We're going to see you later, Thunder. Thanks for sticking around. Have a good rest of your day. We're going to make it a priority next time to prevent such collateral damage. Okay. Two through four. Using mannequins in place of human bodies is much more cost effective and subject to less legal trouble. We also enhanced the targeting software and begun experimenting with a new security or new screen display on the modified Robco security terminals. Uh, Dr. Mooney had Cliff in the graphic design department come up with a rather demented expression. Fitting, if not a little sadistic. Uh, defunct. House dropped by to tell us that he was shutting down development on this project. Mooney was hesitant to spill the beans at first, but it was something about needing to funnel more money into the cryogenics project in the med bay. Some of us are being relocated to the Robco prison facility, and Alice and Joe are being moved to the med lab. The rest of us are being let go. So if you're reading this, Robert, go fuck yourself, you miserable nut job. I'm going to... Repcon and my patents are going with me. Okay then. Oh, I guess we're flipping this breaker. What's the worst that's gonna happen, right? Ah, uh, okay. And how do I disable that? Oh, 
with that giant Robco thing here. Very easy, huh? Rates. Uh, that's not it. R A T E S. Nope, that's not it. R A T E S. The mix. Nope. Did I miss a word? T E S. Okay. And ball demonstration simulation. Well, that was. Kind of fucked up, actually. I grew up in a vault, so this really struck a nerve. What sick son of a bitch would dream this shit up? Look around if you want. I'm just done with this place. No, wait, I want to read what's on that, damn it. Yes! Sounds like that did the trick. Let's get back to the elevator and forget we ever found this damn place. Well, that was a thing that happened. I mean, it just seems like it was a simulation to see uh, if the <clears throat> vault armor and weapons would be able to stand up against the secure drones, right? Like, they might not have been planning to, like, attack a vault or anything. They could have just been like, oh, we're just going to see if the armor and weaponry is, you know, strong enough or something like that, right? Now, was that all that quest was? Is just coming down here and getting trapped and then leaving again? I need to talk to this guy first before we leave anywhere else. Alright, out we go. Or are we? I mean, I say hey, all that, Molly. What can I do? Nope, never mind. Okay. I think Sir Wellis is on the... Let's go the stairs. Um, is she there, though? I think she's at the round table. The guy that I want to talk to. Ah, oh, he is. Perfect. He should be right in here. Sir Wells. Hey, man. What can Sir Wendell do for you? Let's see. He's a supplier. Cool beans, man. Good timing, too, as I already told Clements you had it in the bag. You should probably go report to him yourself, though. He doesn't trust me for some reason. I mean, if you can't trust this face, then who can you trust? Well, I gotta get back to this shit. See you around. See, now the Crusaders' food supplies are... Blah. Damn it. Now the Crusaders have procured a steady food supplier, rationally become more diverse and plentiful. Which doesn't really mean anything for me, because I don't eat. Quest added soup for the soul. Return to the Castellian, okay. But why? Yo, Good Clemens. to see you again. Found a food solution. Excellent work with establishing a food supply chain. Since that was secured so rapidly and successfully, I think we can start on phase two. As part of our operations here, we wish to provide aid to the hungry and clothe the naked as our faith demands. So I need your help again. A soup kitchen for those without shelter or whose homes have been ravaged by this NCR Legion war to help them in a place so bereft of compassion. This benefits us as well. It's not our end goal, mind you. But if locals see us as the good guys, they'll be more willing to help us with the NCR. Nothing like having the natives on your team if you're an occupying force. It will also dispel rumors that we are the Enclave or Brotherhood. But I digress. This is the location we've identified as perfect for a soup kitchen. Clear out the nasty gang that lives there and report back to me. Got him, boss. Ground floor. <clears throat> okay. Right, so where is? I don't know. I just don't do. Oh. The ruined grocery store. I've been there a couple times. Well, nearby it. 
haven't actually been there, but <clears throat> you know how it goes. Alright. Oh, we don't need a anti-armor weapon to take them out. Let's go with the Photon Storm SMG. Alright, y'all. Die, scam, die! Winning Ashley is her name, huh? Ooh. It is somewhat hard to track them. Between the low light and the uh, brightness of the <coughs> orbs. Where's Grinning Ashley's body? She was a named character, so... Oh, another... Cutling gun. That mine's in perfect condition, so it doesn't matter. Not the scav. Where, where's Ashley's bones? There she is. I'll oh, take more ammunition, baby. Yeah. Got more stim pack, too, even though I don't really need them. Yoink. Okay. This is where they're gonna have a... Soup kitchen? Oh, there's a piece of Grin and Ashley over here, too. Hmm. A couple of magazines. Oh, there's uh, just some body parts there. Okay. Man, I hate it when I can't just turn the lock and it opens. I forgot I'm going to nag a little bit. There we go. Bottle cop. I can't believe there's a shotgun in there. Okay. Perfect. That's all that's really here. I hope they clean this place up before they start selling food here. Mm. A new quill and quartz. Mm. Also, there's a little bit of food here they can already use and sell. Cool. Like, especially this nonsense. That'd be good to clean up. Okay. Quest. Return to kill lemons. First, let's go to the Corvega factory. Okay, so it is closest to the Portland train station. Let's head up there. Ugh. Good shit. Just gonna ignore that gunfire I heard. on the side of this wall. Can I get by there? Yeah, scavengers. Oh, hello there! Oh, those are NCR troopers. Fuck, I don't want to kill them. I'm trying to maintain friendly relations for the most part. Please. Damn. I'm still in like pristine condition too. Nice. Can I not shoot through this? Oh, I can. So many particle effects. I don't have something that can just like knock them out.
I know that was a scab, not an NCR. What? Why'd that vilify me? Hmm. I'm going to go in there. It's always interesting to watch, or like to see, I guess, like the stuff that the Wastelanders do to like maintain, like make fires, like put in a hood of a car. It's kind of funny. Okay, anything up here? Down and do it down and going through the door. Intensive music. Oh, 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 we good? Can't run now. One second. Let's try to let the game catch up a bit. Okay. I really like this gun. Oh, is that scab already dead? Got him. Reload, reload, let's go. See you there. You too. By you too, I mean this guy up here. No, oh, when you have to open the door, I can just shoot through the glass. It's always nice. Yeah, so what was I doing? Up here. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's get up. go. Okay. Alright, looks like uh, I need to go down there. Okay, of course. What's this door go to? Anything? Just a very big empty room, huh? Some offices? Alright, alright. Excuse me? Okay. Double layered glass, gotcha. Go to all assembly lines. I kind of like power armor for a second there. Assembly line B! that quest hold on wait 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 you lonesome tonight if you Meet Charlene, tell her about... Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. I can't do that, because Charlene uh, doesn't want to hear any more about the guy, so... I can't do much for that. So I guess the guy just dies, and then uh, it's over. I feel like it's, it's kind of like a time quest. Molly's pit boy transition. Needed, need urgent help. Oh. Get back here ASAP. Charlene collapsed and won't wake up. The prelates are trying to treat her the best they can, but I think it's the shit Elijah did to her, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Running will not save you from my minigun!
Red is a neon sign. I don't see where that weapon, but I'm not seeing it. This door here is what I'm opening. I'm looking at these, I don't know. Wooden crate. Huh. So they're still below me or above me. I'm guessing below. Okay. I don't know why I ran all the way around like this. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, there we go. Over here? Huh. Find a way to power the electronic block. Okay. It's over here somewhere, right? Yippers. Power station. Mm, as one does. It looks like there's power going to places already, right? So. Oh. Escape the fire, huh? Now that way. Oh boy. Ow! Scripted sequences! Come on, get up. You know, if this is how it's gonna be, I'm gonna talk with God mode so I can't get pushed over. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Jesus. Where'd that come from? Battle on it? What? Skitter lives? I don't know what that means, but okay. Report the failure. Get the fuck out of here. Say hello to my little friend! Did, uh, did I crash? I crashed. Also, the house just kind of shook. <laughs> Like, my real-life house just shook. It's really windy outside right now. Luckily, it saves as soon as I go out of doors. So, what a Gucci, man. I'll 
Lin and Company. Danny Parker and uh, Modern Jazz Group. All right, like I said, say hello to my little friend. Shit, the truck got one off as well. Maybe. Oh, that crashed again. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's still going. I may have crashed. Yeah, looks like the game locked up. Fuck. Maybe I should not destroy that front loader, huh? Um, the Alt F4 is not doing it for me either. Well, let's just go ahead and we'll uh, we'll Alt Tab. Close the program. <laughs> uh, too much stuff's going on. There's there's too many uh, parts on that front loader, and it just kind of cracks apart when you you blow it up, and that causes shit to explode. Okay, continue. Yes. Okay. Don't destroy the giant front loader. That's the plan this time. Okay, bye. Uh, I'm just gonna turn God mode off and or I said I'm gonna turn God mode off and uh for some reason I'm still walking slow as fuck here. Why am I just walking? Did I accidentally hit a button and it like did this? Controls. Oh, key mapping. Run, run, run. Left shift is run, but always run is numpad 8. Okay. Maybe I accidentally hit numpad 8 somehow? Yeah, somehow hit numpad 8. Well, I don't know how I managed to do that. But, uh, I'm just gonna go over here now. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to escape these fucking scavs. Yeah, bro? Yeah, bro? Okay, y'all. Uh, yeah, okay. Oops, missed that guy. Got him. Hey, buddy. Can you not, though? Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Hold up. Minute gun. Okay. Let's just continue to retreat here. Large turrets. And they're friendly? Okay, I'll take that. Random bullhorns, okay. Some sort of trap here? Or someone's pets, okay. Keep it guy, yay! I don't know why these turrets are here, but okay. Scav van. Okay. Push the way. There's a rabbit back here. Oh, is this? Hey, Servington. Didn't realize we we're that close. Ah, cool. All right. Well, back to the tower. Cause we gotta save Charlene and. Actually, can we save Charlene? Have I maybe fucked myself on the quest line? I could have potentially done that. Um, I don't know if I have to go here or to the other floor. I'm not sure if that text is static or... Good to see you again. 
Head out of the grocery store. Well done. I will inform Prolet Anya to take her missions team to the site at once. Lots of work to do restoring the place, I imagine. Yep, there's a lot of blood there, sir. A lot of body parts, too. Molly, you around? Or are you on the other floor? Go to Molly. Back already? Wait, you smell like smoke. What the hell happened at the Corvega factory? A little bit of smoke and turns from Corvegas into hot rods. <laughs> oh, boy. Try to activate the generator, but uh, the door to power a door keypad and the funny wiring set the place fire. Sweet Jesus Christ! I mean, it's to be expected with 200 year old wiring. We've had minor issues like that in the tower, but fuck, man! Huh. That's one way to get flames on the paint, am I right? Seriously, though, you got super lucky on that one. Too bad we won't be making any more Jericho cannons for now. I guess we'll just have to make the NCR piss themselves the old fashioned way. Got your message, what happened to Charlene? I'm not sure, really. She had a nosebleed with a migraine, and then she just collapsed, according to the Sophers. They've been tending to her since. Fuck. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just, even with all my brains, I feel useless as tits on a nun. It's so goddamn frustrating, I want to punch shit! Come on, let's do something productive and check on Charlene. Maybe one of the prelates figured something out. Maybe. Or maybe she's dead already. Am I following you? I guess I'm following you, okay. Come on, let's go, Molly, let's go. Side run, side run, yeah. I don't want to use the stairs. Molly, the elevator works. I guess you like cardio. Wow, did I not let her load through fast? Oh my god. I hate stuff like that. Like, if they don't load through the doorway before you load, they, they can't finish. Ah, yes. This would make sense. M M Molly? Did you see her and run away? Is Molly? The update on Charlene, oh. I'm afraid nothing has changed. There's likely some pressure on the brain, but we just don't have the medical skills to relieve it. Any idea what is causing this? More than likely, Elijah's botched experimental surgery. Operating could make it worse or kill her even if we could pinpoint the problem. I'm... Sorry. What if we found someone that knew more about neurology, or had performed complex surgery? Some chances from what I've seen of this godforsaken place, but there might be someone out there who can help. I'd hurry though, if you try. Thanks, Lizzie. I've got maxed out medical. Better I can be do. going. I've got a ton of repairs waiting for me. Wait, why did breaking the cycle fail? What? You know how it is, right? <clears throat> hey, newbie. Goddamn. Just goddamn. Okay. Bye, Molly. Let me just fix her real quick. Let's see. Even with your advanced skills in medicine, the surgery is going to be tricky. Once you start, there's no going back. I'm going to lose to a professional doctor. You just remember that Clemens asked you to check with him regarding your intercepted NCR communications. Good thing we do that now. What? Uh, okay, text. All right, give the operation. You finish the, the, the tree pan and notice the chronic subdural bleeding. This could be the cause of the coma, but your knowledge tells you the problem is much deeper. Insert a temporal small catheter through the drilled hole and suck out the hematoma. Attempt to repair the bridge, bridging veins after administrating another dose of... Do the first one. Catheter is in place and the cranial pressure has been relieved. Down the brain further, you take note of the complex scars and strange implants near the 
sur blah 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 blah. Um, examine the implants closer. Examine the strange implants. You discover a large tumor is growing around her pineal gland. It is pressing against one of the implants, causing a malfunction. And putting pressure on a nearby artery. You are confident this is the source of the problem. You are uncertain how these implants function, or if removing them will cause any more harm than good. It's a lot easier to extract the tumor without them in the way. Extract without removing the implant. You actually nicked the trapped artery, and she dies. Okay. No. Reload. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Radix. First one. Examine the implant. Remove the implant. You managed to dislodge the most obstructive implant, and clearly see the whole tumor now. You're confident you can move without killing her. Exercise the tumor and replace the implant. Finish the surgery and banish her head. Surgery was success. Charlene will be recovered. Okay. Wow. I've never seen anyone perform a miracle surgery like that by themselves. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. God has truly blessed you. I'll take over her care from here. The Domino wanted to talk to you about something after we handled this crisis. Please see her immediately. Uh, so you're welcome. You're Molly, I got her. Hey, newbie. What can I do for you? Charlene's fine. I I go ahead and repair all my stuff. There we go. Thank you. Bye. Head games is completed. Castell, you're not here. Uh, go to floor three. Actually, do I still have the uh, radiation suit? I think I do. Clement, wake your ass up, old man. Good to see you again. How about the intercepted communication? We've been intercepting a good deal of NCR chatter, but it seems they're keeping critical information. They're using that old airport near Goose Hollow as their command center. I want you to infiltrate and put this bugging device in the... Of course, you will need to look the part to get entry. I suggest acquiring some uni... Hmm. Or maybe visit a favorite bar of the NCR Crunts and convince them to part with a few... I really prefer that you not do that last one. Beyond the vile... Now I leave it to you to get started on this up. Okay. I'm sort of bummed that I lost the, uh... thing to talk to, um... the Domina and be like, hey... maybe let's, uh, be friends with the NCR. Smile. I don't know why that one failed. It was like, hey, you gotta progress the story to uh, do more stuff, right? I don't know. It's a pleasure to see you again. Do you need my assistance with something? You wanted to see me? For the last few hours, I've been praying in meditation for guidance. God whispered but a single phrase. The time for judgment is at hand. The hour for our foes to repent has passed. Now, it's upon us to deliver our world from them. To be his hand of vengeance. The edge of his sword. We shall rally at the gates of the Insane Face. It is time to do God's work. I hope you are ready. Why? Weird flex, but okay. I'm not sure what that means. Are you ready then? But why? Why now? We just got a like receiver thing quest, right? And you were just like, let's go attack them. Sure. Praise be to the Lord, my rock. That seems rushed. White Queen to White Bishop. Operation Final Judgment is a go. No quarter, no retreat. The main force will penetrate, dominate, and hold the offensive for us. Our objective is to eliminate the leaders. Now. Let us deliver his reckoning. Okay. Okay. So we're just assaulting both the Legion and 
Ostia, huh? Well, I already conquered Ostia once. Like, literally, this playthrough. <laughs> um, so they should all be dead. Or not. Yes, I have keys to Ostia. How's it go? Knock, knock. I'm here to see the leader. Hello. This is not where I'm going. What is this? What? How do they do this? That's ridiculous. Okay. Oh. He has an office up here? Hey, bud. Look, I know I already killed you once and took your armor, but... I really want to do it again, so... You should just... There you go. Hell calls. Weird flex, but okay. Leggett. Hey, Leggett. Okay. Jolius's totally messages, enough, yada yada yada. A muta fruit. Okay. Interesting paraphernalia. A wooden barrel. Okay. Good work, everyone. Now, let us fast travel to the NCR air base. And we'll uh, destroy all of them, I guess. Sometimes the stars mission failed. Well, that's sucks. Wait, what? Something bright town? Damn. That sucks. Hold up. Say hello to my little friend. And crashed. Okay. Don't fire the missile launchers, I guess, is the, the rule of the game. If you fire the missile launchers, you die. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and close the game again. Bye. Come on, give me the clothes, please. Come on. No, you can do it. You can do it. Here we go. Come on. Okay, there we go. The game crashed. All right. <clears throat> Let's reload it again. Well, this is not exactly how I expected the uh, the game to go. It feels really rushed that we just, like, all of a sudden are attacking both Legion and NCR camps. I guess we'll just see how this plays out. Because, I mean, the, the Crusaders didn't really seem like they had the manpower to do this, right? It's a bit sketchy to use them Also, real quick, before I get tempted to use these again, I'm just going to drop on the ground there. Quest do I fail here? Dreaming of Bright Town. Sometimes the stars. Yeah, that's not right. I should hold on. If we're gonna be uh, doing this as a member of the Crusaders. Burn for your crimes, criminal scum. 
Don't mind me, I'm just walking with a cat laser and legion armor. Okay. I assume we're going into the airport here. From the ground! Hey, you're dead. Can we go? kind of funny that in this sequence the NCR don't have their uh, special weapons we took off the Enclave space station. It makes sense though, I guess. Oh, that's Weaver. Where did they go? Where did they go? Hey, Blackthorn. Okay, you're dead. Anything good on you? Nope. Fucking Lang, no, I'm sorry. The black one really didn't do anything. Thanks for playing Fallout the Frontier. This mod is also many, many years. Yada, 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 yada. Wow, really? Really? And so came to an end. The career's ex. That's. That's just how they're gonna end. Huh. That's how they're gonna end the, uh... Crusader faction? That's really weird. Well, let's just load back out. And we'll continue playing from here. Because there's definitely a way we can do this where... Wait, am I... Fuck, am I trapped in here now? Do I have to do this mission? Hold on. I don't think I used that door to get in this part. I think he's going over here, right? Can I get out of this door? I can't. Okay, cool. Go that way? Yeah. Weird. I guess that one door just didn't want to open for me, huh? Hmm. I think we run from that. Now I discovered the Crovega factory, not when I was inside of it, huh? Okay. Uh, oh. Two bullets left after I died. Not bad. things. And dead. Good. Huh. Yeah, man, I don't know. That's really weird. So that's how they chose to end the Crusader path line. Well, I, uh... So I still have to break the cycle. And it says to you have exhausted all your options of convincing the Domina. Perhaps time will bring further answers. So I'm guessing there's something that's gonna happen if I wait, maybe? Like maybe if I, if I maybe if I, if I do this one first. Why can't I not just click on shit? Okay. Actually, let me go. Boop. So if I return to him first, I'm gonna save before I do it too. Like an actual hard save so I can reload this one if necessary. But maybe there's a timed scenario 
where uh, Clemens gets you information on the NCR and you find out that they're not bad. It froze while I was trying to press escape to save. Ha! Ah, ah, ah. ah. Well, let's we'll see if it catches up or not. There we go, it did. Okay. Okay, new save. Okay. Good to see you again. Got the grocery store clear. Well. Okay. Good to see you again. Lemons. Okay. Yep. Wait for the souls completed. Which means. Only quest left is the electronic lock and then breaking the cycle. And I guess God bless America, but America's trapped in that one room, so we can't really do anything with her. Um, and everything else is kind of like a weird side quest. And most of it is stuff for the NCR. I, I don't know what this one is. Uh, it wants me to turn to Quintilius, who is apparently at uh, that one place, the, the upper right legion base that we can't get to. Or we can, but... Everyone there's dead, so I don't know what that mission's for. Uh, Chekhov's gun is to board the Vertibird to finish the uh, NCR quest. Collecting flowers is just flowers. It's a side quest. The Sigurd is that one Vertibird fly-by-wire kill stuff thing. And the Traveler Frontier with America is... I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing you're able to complete or what, but uh, we're not going to be able to do to it because she's trapped in that room. So I guess we just explore. There's an old pawn shop to our right. We can take a look at that until uh, a flag comes and tells us, hey, uh, the Castellian wants to talk to you or something like that, I guess. Something should happen. Also, as soon as Charlene fell like ill went into that coma that's when we uh got like locked in so i don't know if her thing is timed or if it's set to happen after the corvega thing we'll find out though because if it's just set to happen like randomly like after a set amount of time it should happen after we've explored some places so i guess we'll find that out and see if that cancels or gets any quests destroyed but I don't know. Let's find this pawn shop and, uh... Hello? Just, uh, empty building. Cool. I like that there's actually, like... Hold on, let's go back to that real quick. If you look in there, there's actually, like, building behind it. You can, like, see inside the building. So if I, like, toggle... I don't think I can actually go in here. Oh, I can. Oh, well, that's actually really cool. Actually go in here. This is what games should do. Like, instead of, like... Just having stickers of, like, stuff inside. They just, like, do this. Like, you can see stuff inside, but, like, there's nothing actually, no way to get in there and stuff. That's, that's pretty cool. I like it. Of course, it takes a lot more, like, stuff, but it's worth it. Pawn shop should be right around here. Yeah, pawn shop. It's closed Sunday. What day is it? Enemies are nearby. Oh, so they are. Like a werewolf. I'm not really a death claw. Is a white death? Wolf meat. Some spike ammo. Hmm. Okay. Spiders. It had to be spiders. Ugh. Every time I see spiders, just a chill up my spine. Every fucking time. Wait, are they up higher? Gym. Wild Wasteland prompted this. Something else I can search? Jim Sterling. Ah, it's a reference to uh, Jim Sterling, a, a YouTuber. I get these streams too? I don't know. Extra damage against Abomination. Ignores armor. Huh. My Magnum's better, but. Yeah, it's just a normal pistol. Doesn't look fancy or anything. Cool. Let's get out front seat. 
Okay. Gotta be more stairs up or something, right? There's more like spooters down there. Oh, fucking what the shit? Hold up. Hold up. I don't know who you guys are, but... Say hello to my little friend. What the fuck? They are so strong. Okay, I need to get out of here. Hold on. Hup. Okay. Now we got some room. Let's get the multi-gatling laser out here. Are they running to, like, flank me, or... There's nothing in here right now? What? What does that mean? What? What do you mean there's nothing in here right now? In where? Did I glitch the game? I'm freaking out, man. Zealot's Flying Bird. They got Sin Stalker Raiment. Got a shield. Scripture. Orders from Morgana? What? Oh, are these more, uh... If they're hearing Scripture, they're part of the uh, Crusaders, right? This would mean that they're part of the bad faction, I think. But I lose karma. Fuck off. Killing Sin Stalkers. People are coming after me to kill me is not losing karma. That's fucked up. All right. Uh, not that. I want data. Then miscellaneous. Orders from Morgana. Sin Stalkers. Make it look like a Legion attack. The wounds left should be savage, raw, and amateurish. Legion grunts are not trained swordsmen. Remember, we do not want the death of a courier or that Asian brat to be traced back to us. If we can pin a pit weaver against both the Legion and the NCR, we can strike while her forces are depleted. I will not entertain any further complaints about wonky, wavy swords. These swords were designed to look like those uh, you might find in Ostia or for a reason. Avenge, have a grain, fulfill the wit of Anthemia against the unworthy. Um, I guess what they mean by the Asian, Asian brat is America? And uh, since America's not with me, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Get fucked, nerds. Okay. So, uh, does that... Does that not do anything for me here? Am I not like, oh, I, I should give this order thing to the Domina, so the Domina can be like, oh... Yeah, we need to wage a holy war on the, uh... Other fucks. And, uh... Yeah. Guess not. Okay. Well... Let's check out the, the pawn shop, I guess. I'm going to get a non-explosive weapon. Just in case. S stay back. It's not what it looks like. I'm just looking for a cure. I'm sick. I'm becoming... Becoming one of them. You mean that ghoul? You're just a monstrous as the ferals, hunting them for your sick experiments. What? I'm not here to hurt you, what's up? Look at me. I can't go back to the tower. It's bad enough they hate me for being a scav. Now please, leave me alone. I don't need pity. Just a cure. You're now becoming a ghoul. The rash along with the deformities is a symptom of advanced syphilis. Syphilis? I... That would explain what those things in my blood are. And these sores. I'm ashamed to say, with my past, it makes sense. Thank you for the diagnosis. Now that I know what the problem is, I can work on making some penicillin. An IV regimen will cure the infection. You missed your past, that was a bad thing. I don't fuck. What do you do now? I honestly don't know. Maybe after the infection is gone, I'll head to Junk Flea and look for a new start there. But hey, don't be a stranger. It's nice to meet someone in the wasteland that isn't a total asshole. What? What do you mean? You're part of the Crusaders. What? Okay. 
I figured she'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Crusaders, yeah, woo! But apparently not. Just Halloween necklaces? What? A well-heeled gambler's hat, okay. Just a bunch of random shit in here, I'm guessing. Okay. Is there anything of, like, value in here, though? Like, maybe a cool, weird weapon that I could use, maybe? Mm, whatever the fuck this is, this little, uh... What the fuck is that? It's like a grinder? <coughs> what? Ruin book. Ah, here's a guitar. Ooh, a toy magazine. We got a feral ghoul here with some bottle caps on him. Thank you. Some blood bags and rat away. Also, why did she leave if she's going to make like a, uh, like a penicillin? That's odd, right? Trial one, trial two, trial three. Electrical tubing, yada yada. Acid battery. Okay, that's weird. Oh, nothing back here. Cash register. Mm, bobby pin, I'll take that. Okay, there is nothing else in here. Well, we did our good deed for the day. We, we helped someone, I suppose. <laughs> now that there's uh, anything else around here. All right, anything else we have not seen here? The Sunnyside Theme Park, the Vault Tech Regional Offices, uh, the City Liner Portland HQ, Public Library, Save em Art, and the new Buckingham Stadium, which, oh, that's the Legion area that I'm vilified at. Perfect. And down here we have the South Waterfront. Okay. And then that one that's all the way over there. You know what? Let's go here. So South Waterfront and then the, uh, the furthest south thing that we don't have yet. And we'll just knock this corner of the map out. Still trying to see if waiting... For... You just remember that Clemens asked you to check in with him regarding that. Okay. Did anything fail? Are we good? To the Keras Enterprise office building. Hmm? Was, wasn't that... Yeah, I think that was the... Uh, if I remember correctly, this is where... The... Uh, yeah, that thing is at. The, the, the Lovecraftian thing. Oh, hey, rats. How you doing? Fucking rats. Okay, actually, I need to go this way. I think, maybe. Where, oh, where is my buggy at? The map says it's, like, right here. Is it? Oh, it's right here. I'm just blind. Haha. -ha. I think you're out of fuel, aren't you, though? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. But what if, hypothetically speaking here... I were to uh, search Jerry Can. Actually, I need to put it in parentheses. Jerry Can. Player dot add item. D seven two C C E A two. Yeah, but how do I how do I fill it up? That's, that's the question, I guess. I thought it like just took my inventory, but apparently not. Is there an inventory on this thing? Uh, maybe open tab while I'm in it? Question mark? Like, I don't think holding the, the jerry can in my hands will do anything. I was like, I'm like... Yeah, that did nothing. Lol. Oh, now I can access it. Okay, refuel. Refuel. Okay. Well, what's that? Let's rock! Alright, so I think the marker that I'm looking for is right here. So, Southeast Waterfront. It would just crash. Again. Mind you. We just crash again. Well, it's still playing music, so it's not like a hard, completely dead crash. Okay, perfect. So, hold on. The marker was right there. 
Is there like a door down this way? There's a ladder. <laughs> there's, there's nothing here. Okay. Ha. Huh. Well, I guess that's just like a marker for this place here. There's nothing too special right there. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Why is there radiation coming from here? Hold on. Let me back the fuck up real quick. I should, why am I getting irradiated? Is there something here that's irradiating me? Oh, no matter. Okay. Where was the next spot? It was just far south. Okay. Question is, can I drive on the lake there, though? I don't think I want to risk it. I just got this buggy back. I don't want to. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of rads now. Maybe, uh, maybe we don't go down that way. Oh, what the fuck is this? Hold on. Hold up. What? What if I, uh... Well, I thought that was a little bit more of an incline than it was. Never mind. New plan. We drive this way. Away from the radiation that's slowly killing us. Oh. Is it water? It's water. <sighs> that sucks. Your vehicle is sunk. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Um, did I save? Yeah, let's reload that. Uh, I thought it was iced over. That's my bad. Okay. So the further we go this way, it's gonna be just a radiated crater. Any bridges? So we need to get across this river, I think. Or, if that's like a crater thing, like right here, maybe there's a way to go further around it? I don't think this entire thing is like a... Uh, what you call it? I don't think it's like ringed by a water... Like, path, right? Oh my god, a waterway? Mm -hmm. Canal? Is the canal what I'm working for? Is that the word? What's up, ghoul? You fuck nerds! Okay. Uh. <laughs> get fucked, nerds, he says. And then, get fucked, he gets. Okay, let's just not ram them, then. Gotta be careful about my uh, durability here, because if I hit anything else, I'm pretty screwed. I think. Just need to keep heading this way. What the fuck is that? It's really red. Okay. The hell? Huh? I'm gonna get out real quick. What are you? Uh, five. Is that a fucking good No, it's just a chilled one. Uh, seven? Yeah, there we go. Fuck. Mats, please! Oh. Oh, thanks, Miss Fortune. So I read something about if you shoot the Wendigo legs, apparently that's how you kill them. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Yeah? You like that? Okay, that is how you kill them. Holy shit. I wish I would have known that when, like... They were a pain in my ass and not like now. This doesn't seem like a real thing. That's a cool dog. 
This is like it's some sort of marker. That's like not supposed to be visible. That's what it looks like. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Haha, <laughs> get it? I'm not gonna aim with this damn thing. Yeah, never mind. Ah, let's roll. Hopefully not die. Hold on. Do I just need to go across the yeah. app? Fuck, okay. Oh, that's just the dog that I exploded. Okay. Okay, we're bailing. car got hit, it was going to just blow up, so might as well just leave it. Come on. Come on. Up we go. It's, uh, rather dark here. Is... What? What is even the point of using the ladder if I can't get up this way? I'm just going to... There we go. Okay. Six. Uh, I don't know, one fucking scope. Yeah, I'm a control person. Three. Hell yeah. I'm so really curious what perk just causes those boys to like just explode like that. Okay, we got the abandoned or frozen restaurant, huh? That was a buried restaurant, okay. Oh, well, let's see what's in here. Okay. There's a couple of hostiles, but they're just chilled ones, it looks like. And I missed. There's a couple shot, of course, as one does. Oh, they're running away. Crusader Log. Buried restaurant. This is Crusader Scout Holland, reporting on a find in our expedition into the frozen wastes. After a few days of fighting through the ghouls, my team discovered a pre-war restaurant frozen in the glacier. There appears to be another tunnel leading deeper into the glacier. We'll leave another report when we find anything of interest. Scout Holland, signing off. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Yep, they're dead. Okay. Oh, at least one of them's dead. The, the ghouls must have got him, man. Really would like my pip light to work right now, but it doesn't. Another scout. Nothing on him. Okay. Well, they're dropping like flies already. They're not even a foot inside. What a... Okay. I guess that's the thing that exists. Uh, okay, that's there. We just, uh, where is my General Oliver special? There we go, okay. Oh, that's not gonna work, okay. Let's go, bitches! What's up? Brotherhood thing there. Or a crusader thing there, anyway. Hi. Wink. Om nom nom nom. Yep. I like how brittle their like bodies sound when you shoot them with like a bunch of semi-automatic fire. It's really cool. Alright, let's check the next floor up. Just real quick. Sweep. 
Nothing? Okay. Nothing here. Probably would have been a better vantage point to, like, shoot them at, but okay. Or a different way to go down, huh? Nothing else up here, though, so we might as well go down. So we're going down, down, and I can't get to the liquor store. Damn it. All right, well, out the front it is. What about over here? Uh, nothing in that room. Okay. Interesting. It's like the, the divide, but like a wintry one, kind of. Is there a train car down there? Or a trailer, anyway. Hey, ghoul! Say hello! There we go. Just point and click. Use any large two-handed weapon. Dead Crusader Scout. I did not want the scripture. God damn it. Frozen creatures. Or caverns, I guess? Is that the one? This is Crusader Scout Holland. We ventured deeper into the caves and have found a vast ravine. However, there have been complications. A horde of ghouls followed us in, and we've had to set up in a ruin to hold them off. So far, we've had luck, but supplies are running thin. We're considering falling back into what appears to be a pre-war optometrist store. There we can call for support. Scout Holland, signing off. Okay. Optometrist. Oh, hello. Here we go. Okay, that would not get to me. Okay. If that's the case. Dun 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 multi-core yachting laser! Let's go. God, this gun's loud, but I fucking love it. Dead scout. Okay. Some bones. You wreck baby. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Through there, that was it. I don't think I can get through there. Can I? Oh, can I? Huh? Am I supposed to be able to do this? I don't think I am. Let me just save real quick before I follow the map. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Where? Huh? Where'd I go? I was uh, expecting there to be like a log back here since we saw that one guy, but that's fine. All right, well, another flag, more caps, hell yeah, Crusader Scout, Crusader Scout, Crusader Scout, we got a energy sniper rifle, I'll take that, and what's this look like? Energy sniper rifle. 45? Damage? No, get the fuck out of my fucking face. Also, I'm gonna drop this Jim Sterling. Crusader? Uh, Crusader Scout Holland, huh? He has a stealth boy. That's about all he's got on him. Okay. Crusader Scout Frozen Cavern Log. Play it. Mayday! Mayday! This is Crusader Scout Holland sending out a distress signal to any Crusaders that can hear. We've been trapped in a cavern system beneath the glacier to the southwest of the tower. We are requesting immediate support. Ferals have overrun our positions and we're taking our last stand. I repeat, we request immediate reinforcements. Well, they died. 
That's a shame. Real quick. Toggle collision. I want to see what's out here. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's funny. When you go outside the range where you're supposed to go, like, they add little things out here. It's kind of cool. I like seeing stuff like that. Well, it looks like that was all that was in this area. Just a uh, nice little kind of a side area. It's cool. Maybe I'll find something as I go out. I don't know. Doubt it. Huh. Well. Shit happens. And that was the frozen restaurant. Okay. There you go. I almost did not recognize this as the exit. And I was like, where the hell do I get out of here at? <laughs> That's a rib cage. Of course. All right. Well. Let's look at the map real quick. So. There's just a map marker for Rango's dead body, huh? Okay. So if we zoom out. Everything down in the uh, this little area is cleared. We still have this like strip of land, which is what is this place? This like junk flea corner area of this little town complex. And there's a lot more to explore elsewhere. Lovely. Um, but before we do anything else, oh, I don't actually have a quest to talk to. Uh, Clemens again. Okay. Let's go talk to Clemens now that we can get that quest to do the uh, the, the receiver thing. And uh, we'll do that and see if we get any good info from the NCR offices. Maybe? Because it the only thing I can think of right now that would like help us to get the Good NCR to and the again. Crusaders together. We've been intercepted. Yeah, we learned all this before. Okay. Yes, we got the quest. Do you hear what I hear? I'm just, I'm just checking to see if I like fail any quests. I was like, no, okay. It's easy enough, okay. Uh, find some uniforms. Near uh, this place? Oh, I can't fast travel, right? Hold on. Okay. But now I can't, baby. Alright. So I go here. I should be able to just be like, yo, dude! Give me some armor so I can blend in with the NCR. All right, where's it at? The shop here, the Wasted Angel? Oh yeah, I can just borrow some from uh, some NCR boys. Is that what the thing was? Okay. Hi, I'm Siliana, the handy girl. Is something fixed? How about we go back to your old business? Oh my god. Hey, hey Marty. pal. Welcome to the... Sylviana ain't selling her ass no more. There's plenty pussy just out the door, or a few tipsy scabs you can take home over at the... Wait for something special. NCR gear, uniforms, all slightly used, if you get me. You're kidding, right? I don't know. How about that... NCR standard issue Johnny Gun with freshly dried blood on it behind you. How about lowering your voice and keep that to yourself? Look, Charlie supports the NCR, if only because NCR clients tend to spend on top shelf. Tip. I don't know what charges selling stolen NCR gear might get you, but death seems pretty likely, so I ain't putting my ass on the line for chump change. Sater 5000 caps chump change? Well, now. If I just happen to let this key to the old dumpster fall out of my pocket, and you just so happen to find it, 
Cash and key. Pleasure doing business. Now, if you feel like spending more from those deep pockets, I got plenty of stuff to help control the asshole pop. Let's see. What do you got in stock? I got all the stuff you need. Feel like I have a shit on the caps, sir. Let's see. Let's get rid of the General Oliver. I don't need three advanced radiation suits. Um, get rid of that. I'm not going to use it. Get rid of Fixer. I don't know if I have a fresh egg or a fucking fresh potato or that for that matter. Uh, raw meat, salt, stealth boy. Get rid of the super stim packs. They don't help at all. Um, let's go ahead and get the 10 millimeter away. Get that away. I don't know why I picked up a coffee mug. Um, let's see. Hard cases, dog tag. You know what? You can have this. Nothing else for it. it. Never came up again, so. Here's some Legion money. Limit edition skunk plushie. Right, giving me an extra luck. That's what it does. Here's some pre war money for you. Uh, let's see. Take the scripture. Shut down protocol codes. What are these for? I can sell them, and they, like. <laughs> I don't know why. What? There's a teddy bear. What else I got? Just ammo? Yep, okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, hey. Charlie? Is the dumpster out back has the uniforms in it or something? Hmm. Borrow an NCR. Snow outfit. I'm just going to take all three of them, just, to, just in case, you know. An NCR Gilly Cape, you say? This one would uh, <clears throat> suit me better, I think. Going incognito, you know. Infiltrate the NCR base, yada yada yada. Okay, borrowed snow outfit. Um, the Gilly Cape and the scarf. Excellent. No one will know it's me. Except for the guy who saw me put it on. But you know what? Local? I remember in San Lot was still around. Place had its problems, but it's I can't believe that vertebrate is still on fire. It's been weeks. You know? Okay. Oh map. Map 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 map. Into Camp Phoenix we go. Hopefully I don't get attacked on site before the uh, thing kicks in, but who knows? La 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 la, I'm just an NCR trooper. Don't mind me none. Actually, I wonder if I can like, talk to people and get like quests while I'm wearing this stuff. I might keep this just to do that. Can I access my old house? I can. Do I actually have anything good in here though? That's the question. Got my old backpack. Eternal life brown hood, huh? Okay. I'm gonna store one of the borrowed outfits. I'm gonna combine the other two together. Uh, let's see. We got a. Uh, I think I'll just store the Jericho fusion cannon. It, it weighs like 14 pounds, and it's not that great. Also, front seat. I don't really use it anymore. Not with the magnum plated rifle, or the gold plated magnum rifle. Um. I'll keep the Covert Sniper so I can use it in stealth, because uh, it's good to have. And the Animate Hero Rifle I'll use for, like, oh, we've been seen, time to uh, kill stuff, Sniper. Oh my god, it does weigh 20 fucking pounds, though. Shit, never mind. I'm going to store that away. Um, Everything else I want to keep here. Okay, that's all. Don't mind that. Smile. Okay. So I think I gotta go here. And then I place this bug somewhere. Or not? Garden? Glad you're on our side, courier. 
He even knows I'm the carrier. The fuck? Glad you're on our side, Car Oh, this place. Okay, never mind. Just casually, yeah, courier. How you going? How you doing, courier? Huh? Huh? Courier? Courier? How you? How you doing? Wait, is this not? Where am I planting this bug at? All oh, right, there. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze him. Check with comms officer Teresa to ensure the bug's working. Okay. Hey, Johnson. Not in the mood to talk right now. Hard hey there. How's it going, Major? Great, thanks to you. I just can't believe that Dilfer really betrayed us. Okay, what's your job? It's not. Oh, oh, okay. Codebreaker? Officer? I can't believe Wolfpacker gone. MP? Oh. Okay. So, if we. Huh? There's details of an NCR doctor that's gone missing in the frontier wastes. It has the map that points to the last known location of the doctor. Oh. Wow. That's cool. Home sweet home, huh? So, there was two guys over here that died. And when they did, I think these guys, quests failed. So, Vince? Oh, you're not dead. So, what's up? Um, let's talk politics. I have had nightmares like this before. So NCR Exiles, huh? Um, they're okay, I guess. I mean, I'm opposed to all types of authority, but at least they look the snazziest while bringing the heel down. They're tough sons of bitches. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the ones back in the Mojave, if I'm... Okay. Yeah, fuck that. I stay outside when Burns heads to that big fuck-off cap. They can... Okay. Fat chance. Not like the Crusaders would even want me. It hasn't been the same since that one incident with the... Besides all that, I don't really understand them. They're... Sounds like a scam to me. Or maybe... I just don't trust people. Hmm. How'd you guys come to the frontier? All Burns' idea. But there was some, uh... Okay. Let's Why'd you leave? just say that I... Yada, 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 yada. Okay. He doesn't have anything important, so he doesn't matter. Burns, Welcome you must back. matter. What? Do with your partner. Oh, Vince? Me and him go way back. Yeah, the brain he's really though. Little... He's a good guy. Bit of a short temper, but the not a bad battle buddy either. Okay. What's your story? A little old me? Go up into your territory, okay. Let's talk politics. What about the Legion? And the Crusaders. Nothing. Okay. So these guys must yeah, not... No? Wait, what? Guns, primarily, as well as various gun-adjacent paraphernalia. You never know. Oh, so I can't actually buy anything. Okay. Stanley? Oh, you're not dead. Okay, so he can fix my gear, apparently. So none of these two give me quests. That's fine. Didn't someone come like running from up here last time as well? Who had a name? It was Burns, Vince, and like some other guy, I think. Is he over here? No. There definitely was a third guy here, right? I'm not losing my mind. Well, let's maintain this anyway. Let's not use my advanced radiation suit. Who's that guy? NCR Trooper. Okay. This guy right here, maybe. Jackson, yeah. What is it? Oh, sorry, Courier. <laughs> I thought you were another scav trying to give something to the Hanged Man. Did you need anything? The Hanged Man? Who are you? Jackson Bannon. That's my name. Most people on base call me Death, though, on account of how many people seem to die around me. I used to be a spotter for the 1st Brigade. Now, I just stand around here and deal with the scavs. Where are you from? I've been in the military most of my life, so it's hard to remember. From the Reno 1st Brigade? I'm not surprised you haven't heard of us. Most everyone keeps quiet since... We were an elite unit, kind of like the Wolf Pack, but they were still small news when we were around. There were five members, counting me. 
Joseph Drag was our sniper, and I was his spotter. Elliot Alderson handled tech, Kurtz was our heavy, and Parker Mace was the squad leader. In our prime, we killed at least 400 Legion, and even more Brotherhood. We were young, proud, and invincible. Then, Brighttown happened. Ah, so that's gonna be a quest for that. What was Brighttown? Brighttown. God damn it, Brighttown was a mistake. All you need to know is that innocent people died, and we took the blame. After that, the brigade disbanded, and we all went our separate ways. And that's the first brigade, warts and all. Ah, uh, everyone else. Kurtz is dead. Blew his head off as soon as we got back to the base. Elliot was put on psych leave. He's alive, but I don't visit. Joseph is gone. Walked out on us when his sister disappeared, probably hanging from some lamppost. Parker, well, I don't know where Parker is. You seem to be okay? I am. We all took it hard, but some took it harder than others. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said I was the lucky one? Seems a bit drastic. You weren't there. Let's see. You're arguing with the scavs? It wasn't really an argument. I was just trying to explain to them that we aren't related to the hanged man. And that if they want to give him a gift, they should try to find him. Oh, the hanged man is in a... What is it? Joseph Graham? A local legend. Folk hero is a better description. They say the he defends man. the helpless, mm. helps the people who can't help themselves, all without saying a word. So is the hangman real? Maybe. A lot of people claim to have met him, so there's probably some basis in fact. Of course. They also say that Joshua Graham survived being burned alive and thrown off a cliff. He did. There's a super mutant magician who can create death claws out of thin air. And that talking death claws are a thing. So yeah, take it with a grain of salt. I feel like I've met a, uh, yeah, all those are true. Fair enough. Fuck. Just don't get... No. Hold on. Hangman real? Yeah, I was true. Really? Well, shit. Was there just a really weird year that I missed? Probably. You seem worried. Really? Hands must be shaking worse than usual. There is something, actually. Yeah? Parker, my old SO. He's missing. No one knows where he is, and after Brighttown happened, very few people even care. I'm worried about him, and if you were to look for him, I'd really appreciate it. I don't remember, and someone feel free to correct me, but wasn't there a Parker in the group that we went with to the space station? Where is he? I don't know. If I knew... Why are you worried? Out of all of us, he took Brighttown the worst. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. I appreciate... Cool, cool, cool. Hey, real quick. Hey there. Dreaming of Bright Town. Okay, that's that quest. Seem down, girl troubles. I had girl troubles. I was engaged ah. to a woman named Star. She was the. I thought things were going well. Anyway, I moved past. Wait, what? Huh? No, that. That's the other quest that like get canceled when we came here and kill everyone. <laughs> right? Okay. Home sweet home. Wait, what? So investigate that and then Dreaming of Bright damn it. Dreaming of Bright Town. Okay. Let's do that Dreaming of Bright Town one here. Since it's in the AO. Why was this room over here? As in, like, here? Or, nope, behind this fucking wall. God damn it. There we go. Ah, the barracks, right. Okay. And. So, a duffel bag, a wooden crate. This locker, maybe? A clipboard? That's not it. 
Ah, note. Tribunal summons. Miscellaneous. <clears throat> Parker Mace. After a long deliberation, we have determined that you are at fault for the events of the Bright Town Massacre. You'll be put before a military tribunal of your peers to determine your sentence. Any attempt to run will be an act of treason. It will result in immediate incarceration. Um, if you fail to submit to the tribunal at the proper date, bounty hunters will be dispatched to retrieve you. I'm sorry, Parker. It has to be this way. Um, Elias Blackthorn. Okay. So, military tribunal. A lot of those there. Okay. Was that the only thing? Oh, no, there's another note here. Goodbye. Okay. Also, there's dog tags. I'm guessing those are his comrades who aren't with us anymore or something. Goodbye. Can't do this anymore. Every night or every day is like living in a waking nightmare. I just see death everywhere I go. I dream of Bright Town. That's where it started. That's where it's going to end. Okay, he's going to go kill himself in Bright Town. Let's go say hello. Is that a dog tag? Nope. Okay. Oh, boy, Bright Town. Let's fucking go. Um, I might want to get my, this one, out. Quests. Speak to Parker. He is not near Bright Town yet. We can go to Arlington Heights, though. <clears throat> so let's wrap this quest up, and then I think we'll call it for today. Ah, ah, Nani? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the game catch up. Okay. Go eight eye. Damn it. Let's just walk this way. Just rushing this camp at the moment, looks like. Yo, Parker. Sad sack. Who are you? I'm the courier. I'm the courier. Who? <clears throat> Doesn't matter. Jackson told me to find you. Jackson. So he still cares. Let's go. <laughs> what? I appreciate you coming here, but I can't leave. Not yet. I assume you know what happened here. No, I have no idea. I've never heard anything about this place. Tell me all about this. This is Bright Town. Years ago, it was a booming town. Kind of like Junkfleet, but smaller. When the Legion came, they turned it into an outpost, and the 1st Brigade was ordered to take it back. We did that, but we killed everyone we came to save. We failed, and the people here paid for it. Paid for my mistakes. So what are you doing here? I can't make up for what I did, but I can still do something. Some of the recruits from the Mojave talk about a memorial to the people who died in Boulder City. I want to make another one for Bright Town. The base is finished. I just need personal items to tie to all together. You know, it would go faster if you helped me. By the answer, I didn't do this already. Why do you blame yourself for what happened? Yeah. I was the commanding officer for the 1st Brigade. I gave the order that... that... How can I not blame myself? What actually happened, though? Like, did you launch a nuke? Why is everyone a ghoul? So you came here to build a memorial? Yes. Surprised the NCR didn't do this already. Blackthorn doesn't want Bright Town to be remembered. He wants. Okay. So you're doing this to escape jail time? That was a deciding factor. I deserve the punishment, but I. Okay. What do you need? Personal items helmets, books, teddy bears. Anything you could. Okay. Towards Bright Town we go. This still does not tell me what happened to Bright Town, by the by. It just implies that something occurred. Like, from what it sounds like, they just killed the civilians, not like turned them into ghouls or something like that, right?
Yeah, everyone's a fucking ghoul. Teddy bear. Nero's note. Just gonna take this chest board and dump it over. Yep. And now we're gonna go ahead and just do. Not that I need the caps or anything, but. Monkey brain go. Brr. Yep. Ah, yes, yeah, a wind go. God, it's so much easier to deal with these guys. Now that I don't know, just shoot their fucking legs out. Such a weird thing. I wonder if there's an NPC who, like, tells you to do that at some point. There's gotta be. There's no way they're just, like, they'll find out if they eventually shoot the legs or some shit like that. There's no way. That's what the devs, like, decided. Whatever, I'll take that, too. Just impact, though. Mm, must be above me. Fucking radiation ghosts. Okay. Nothing else. Goodbye. Let's see. Secondary menu. last log. Ovid is there still. The slaves have been given their orders, and if any of them just deviate from the plan, their colors will detonate. Most of my force has already begun to trek back to Ostia. We'll be gone by the morning. Edmund will be displeased by the loss of slaves, but I don't care. He's a fool. I surpass him in every way. After today, if you're reading this, Parker, I would like to thank you. Things are already begun their advance. I saw they go into their sniper scope in the morning. They haven't begun any attack, which means they're studying us. They're waiting for the chance to strike. I'm trying to avoid another bitter springs by only aiming at the legionaries. That's what I would do in a situation. If Edmund or one of their scavs was in command, their plan might have worked. But I know their tactics, their ethics. I know how to make their worst nightmares come to pass. Is that log three? Yeah. So, it doesn't tell me what happened. God damn it. If I don't find out what happened to Blighttown, I'm going to be just annoyed as fuck. Let me tell you. I'm just really curious. God damn, I love one of those fucking things. False report, huh? Oh, this helmet. Really? He wants a Legion helmet? Concentrate on their legs is a little bit rough, though. God damn! It's so easy now! I'm gonna take a rat away real quick, though. Right here's where I found that buggy that uh, we were driving previously. Way, way long ago. Car park. Go. 
Another big boy. Okay, he's down. Excellent. Agent Rust grenade. Agent Rust. Why does he have an Agent Rust grenade? Wait, were these guys exposed to Agent Rust? Is that what happened? Yeah, that makes sense, but I don't know. Where's the uh, last piece over here? Oh, the rock? Yeah. Sniper notebook. Joseph's rifle. Now back we go. Do they just keep spawning more, or is there like a set amount? We'll read all the notes after this uh, quest is done. Woohoo! Yippee skippy baby! It's a really heavy downpour, goddamn. Hey, Parker. Nani the fuck? Parker! Parker! Parker, son of a bitch. Hmm? Was that not lightning? Oh my god, I got the items. Good. Give me a minute. So that's it. It's done. It's time I finished this. Ah, <sighs> you gotta be. It's time I die. What? I couldn't stop dreaming of Bright Town. Dreaming of what I did. So I came back here to die. Of course, I was too much of a coward to do it myself. Now that the memorial is finished, though, I feel like I've done enough. Thanks. You should probably go now. You really think killing yourself make you less of a coward? You're wrong. You're, you're not. Fuck, you're right. It's just... It's just so hard. Living like this. Everyone hates me. Wants to see me die. So why don't I give it to them, huh? And if I don't, what then? What do I do? You leave. There's nothing for you here. No one would fault you for it. I can go back to the base. Brayman doesn't run away from his consequences. I... You're right. I can't run. Not anymore. This is goodbye. Thank you. I mean it. Why the fuck are you running down this way? Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't take the rifle? Damn. That's not good. I can take the helmet, but I can't take the rifle? Get the fuck out of here. What? Get the fuck out. I can take everything but the rifle. Are you kidding me? Look at this fucking shitty helmet. Fuck you, Legion. I'm fucking ruin this guy's shrine. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Tell Jackson what happened. Basically, get the house over that way. We can do that next time. For now, let's just finish this. Then we can read the notes and go from there. Yo, 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 Jackson. Hey there. Uh, I know what's going on with Parker. You do? What happened? Lie, he killed him. Lie. He's back in one of our cells. They put him in a cell? I didn't... Thanks. Oh, that was that was it? Kind of anticlimactic, but... Kip. Kip. Done. 
What are we getting now? Did I say cringe at the top there? It has a charge. Okay. I was like, huh? Let me see. Certified tech. Your knowledge of... Well, fuck me. I just want to see the last ones. Implant GRX. You can gain a non-addictive turbo chem injector. Huh. Broad daylight. You're so sneaky you can sneak even with your pip light on. Too bad I can't turn it on. Burden to bear. You can now carry additional 50 pounds of material. Rad absorption. Surely decreases on its own. Huh. That's cool. I'm going to grab that. Maybe. No. no. You don't just read books, you tear into them. Damaged books you pick up become blank magazines, which you can use to copy your existing skill magazines at a workbench. Oh, wow. An actual use for books? Wow. Man, imagine if I go back to that library and just loot all the books. I'd have to kind of blunch of just like blank magazines. Spray and pray. Nuka chemist. We got laser pistol stuff. I think. I think that would stack with my uh, thingy thing. Not this one, but the other one. Okay. Well, that does it for me. Let's read the uh, the notes. Nero's note. I got this thing off that girl Marcus was sleeping with. Disgusting degenerate. I'm glad he was put on a cross. We're running low on food. Perhaps one of you can trade this for something in Junk Flea for more rations. Has to be worth something. That was the teddy bear? I'm guessing by the implication here that the girl had a teddy bear, the girl was, like, underaged? And that's why he deserved to be put on a cross? Makes sense. All right, Alvin. Wallace. I'm sorry to leave so suddenly, but I have stories about the Legion. I love my family too much to risk getting them killed or worse. Emma has been family in Junk Flea, so we're taking our chances there. If I were you, you'd evacuate the town while you still have a chance. You don't want to see what's coming. Those NCR can't protect you forever. Um, Wallace is log five. I've finally done it. I made my way to this exciting place. Found a guy named Kaldi. Oh, this is from that terminal, I think. Kaldius's log. Slavers have been given. Yada, yada, yada. The rest will see. Okay. This is just from the terminal. I was waiting for the thing to go away. This is a scouting port from Fumentari agent. The agent at first indicated that the 1st Brigade's commander, Parker Mace, was lucid during the attack. However, this is marked as a mistake. The agent later recanted his testimony. It's proven that Parker was indeed high during the attack. The agent was promptly executed for his incompetence. Huh? What's a Frumentaria? Is that Legion? Sniper notebook. Most of the Legion gathers in the center of camp, dances naked, i.e. trains in the day, and slaves follow the same routines, so it would be easy to avoid them when we move in. The head honcho spends most of his time in his office, so we shouldn't have so we'll have to draw him out. Shouldn't be too hard though, these leader types always come out in the open to fight us one on one. We think it's honorable, bunch of dum dums. There's a tent of Fumentari to the west. They're smarter than the others. They change up their patterns every few days, but we shouldn't have any problems if we take them out first. Personally, I suggest throwing a Maltov on their tent and having it burn down around them. It would be hilarious and ironic. iron hilarious. Okay. We'll write up a map of the for all the troop movements and hand it to Parker. He'll decide what to do with it. Okay. So this is a Fumitari report, right? So the, the Fumitari, the, the intelligence agents for the Legion was like, yeah, Parker was lucid during the attack. And then the agent later said, no, he was high during the attack. And then the Legion executed him? Why does it matter if the enemy leader was high or not? I don't understand weird. Anyway, that'll be all for now. I'm, I think I'm just going to look up some information, see if there's like a wiki for Blighttown, 
see if uh, it tells me what exactly happened to the people there. I'm really curious if they like got shown to Agent Rust and it just melted their skin off, or if it was like radiation that fucking got them, or something else crazy that happened. Because it's weird that all the people died and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'm looking up on my own. But uh, for now, we'll end things here, everyone. Tomorrow, we will return to Clemens, or Teresa, I guess, to make sure the bug's working. Investigate this home for home sweet home. And then, uh, I don't know. Let me, let me talk to this guy one more time. I'm curious. Hey there. You mentioned a girl named Star. I okay. So, if you remember when we were here with the... Uh, Crusaders and killed everyone there was a quest that we lost that had the name Star in it so I'm wondering if we find Star somewhere because uh, he said he doesn't know where she's at anymore or something like that right she disappeared we find her she gives us a quest and we have to come talk to this guy I don't know maybe that's the case who knows but for now we'll call it here so let's go ahead and do a quick save ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. And we will exit. All right. Well, everyone, thank you, as always, for sticking around for the stream. We ran a little bit longer than usual, but that's all right. Because oh, can't stop the fun, right? So hopefully, by doing the stuff we're doing now um, and not rushing the Corvega factory, we might be able to uh, get more stuff to persuade the... Domina that the NCR is not bad and we can change the ending somewhat to make it less abrupt and like let's just go kill everyone kind of thing but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes so uh, yeah just a couple of closing things about the whole <laughs> Crusader factor it, it, it was good up until that point like up until after the Corvega factory everything was like nope the, the only thing to do now is kill people. You just got to take out the Legion and the NCR. Because um, there wasn't like a, uh, hey, if you do this next step, everyone's going to die kind of thing. But uh, it just felt weird, especially because the Crusaders were supposed to be like the weakest among the groups, and yet they just decided to do an all-out attack on both the Legion and the NCR. Um, I love how they handled the, uh, the Enclave. They were just like, hey, we have this nuke. Let's just launch it and kill the space station and they did that uh, so much better than the NCR's plan of going up there to the space station attacking it and then coming back down and losing a bunch of people and all that stuff and it also caused a bunch of other bullshit to happen that we had to fucking deal with in the NCR round but for the Crusaders I've liked everything except for the ending so far then again it's not a huge like expansive campaign it doesn't seem like uh, but we shall see what happens if we manage to convince Teresa that the NCR is not bad, if anything changes, I don't know. Maybe because that one doctor who I, I, I apparently talked to him before Charlene got into a coma and he started following me, perhaps because of that, that quest is going to auto-fail because that doctor's like dead or gone or something happened to him now. So maybe I'm going to auto-fail because maybe he is a key part in being like, yeah, he's NCR, but he helped save Charlene, and so Teresa's like, oh, we won't kill the NCR, or something like that. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, for now, everyone, that's all. I will catch you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye for now.